Today, I'll be walking you through a couple different designs and the patterns that I used in working with upholstery fabric, in addition to fabric from the local Goodwill, where I upcycled two different sets of curtains. Stay tuned, I'm about to break it all down. Welcome back to Dine In Creativity. I'm Rachel Ann. Nice to meet you. I'm so glad that you're here. This is my channel all about creating with an emphasis on sewing. I thrifted a couple different curtains that I found. Love the print, love the pattern. But then also at my local Joann store, went through the bargain discount section and found two different upholstery fabrics that I couldn't stop thinking about and I just kind of thought about different things I could make with the fabric that would work, even though it is a pretty heavyweight fabric. So I'm excited to show you. Let me go ahead and just jump into it for today. The first item that I created with upholstery fabric was this really pretty lime green dress that has some fun details on the back. As you can see, it has the crisscross back. It has the shoulders, that button here. The other piece that was interesting to me was adding all of these buttons down the back. So the original pattern was Simplicity 1133, and I thought this was a very cute retro cover up, but I really wanted to create a sundress. It was one solid piece of pattern, and so it was very easy to sew. The issue that I ran into is that it would not stay closed. And if I was gonna wear this out, I needed the back to stay closed. And that is where I ended up adding this row of buttons down the back of it and the buttons uh, are slightly different than the top buttons used on the shoulders, but to me they still worked. And the one thing that I've really enjoyed about sewing is it pushes you to let go of imperfections. I mean, as much as I would like a garment to be 100% perfect, I haven't successfully sewn something that was without any imperfections. And so I just roll with it. And if I like it, then I'm gonna wear it. So this was this first piece that I wanted to show you from a really funky linen upholstery fabric. Got it super inexpensive, great price, and I still have a lot left over. I'm thinking I'm gonna make some cute shorts for the summer. Last summer, I started to become really into matching two-piece sets. And also, I've always had a love for retro-inspired fashion from the 60s. And so I created this kind of racer back almost uh, skirt and top set and it is from upholstery fabric again from my local joanne fabric store happened to be perusing the bargain fabrics because i am very frugal and i was newer into sewing and it can start to be an expensive hobby so took advantage of that that upholstery fabric sale and created what i think is a pretty wearable garment i'm gonna go ahead and try and pan this down a little bit excuse my dog toys in the back For my first self-drafted pattern, I was happy with it. This would be super cute in my opinion, just to wear out to dinner, uh, you know, on a date with my husband or just something like that. It's easy enough to throw on. It does have a side zipper that I added in just to create that tailored finish that I'm always trying to go for. These next two skirt and top sets were actually upcycled from vintage curtains that I found at my local Goodwill. I'm always up for practicing and experimenting on new patterns. And so this was the skirt that I created. It does have pockets. I say I created it, but I followed the pattern. Um, and it does have a zip back. This is a skirt that I would absolutely make again and again. The pattern that I used was New Look 6106. You saw my dog's toys and now you get to see where he got a hold of my pattern. Thankfully, he didn't get to the actual tissue paper portion of it, but he took a nice little bite out of this side. 
but this was View A. I opted, it has a little bow here that you can add on. I opted out of, you know, putting the bow on there just because this particular fabric is a lightweight brocade type fabric and I didn't want to add too many frills because I, I thought it would start to become a little much, but it was a beautiful fabric to work with and to sew on. It has a slight weight to it, a little bit of structure, and this made it great to, to work with, especially in trying that first pattern. So I was very happy with it. It actually has a matching top. And for the life of me, I cannot remember what pattern I used to make this, I did go ahead and just put this cutout detail on the back. I used white bias tape. Obviously, again, this was my practice type outfit. I am most likely going to wear it though because I really do like how it turned out. But next time I would get beige bias tape to really blend in. But I, I was happy with it. It has kind of the little puff sleeve shoulders and then elastic around the armband to kind of create an even puffier look to it. But this was the whole set. I almost like it more as two separate pieces. You'll see me, I did go ahead and put a white button down simple top with it just to show you the different iterations that it could be. And I do think I like the white button down with the pencil skirt the best or else it seems to be a lot of curtain, a lot of brocade, and I don't know if that's the look I'm going for. So either way, so fun. So you never know what you can find and what's gonna speak to you at a local Goodwill. And the rule of thumb for me is to wash it on hot, hot water and dry it on high heat just to make sure it gets super clean. And then I throw it in the dryer to shrink it up the issue I could see with using uh, fabric from Goodwill or upcycling curtains or things like that is that the quality of fabric may not still be as highly intact as it once was, especially if it's a curtain. I mean, it's blocking the sun, so the sun is beating on it all day long. So in the future, I may take that into consideration when I take a trip to a thrift store and look around at the sheets and the bed settings and also the curtains that they have available. Okay, this piece, and as you'll see, it still needs some altering. Again, this is the first time I used this particular skirt pattern. It is too big on me. I need to take a lot of this bulk out, but I'll be honest, I'm happy with it. I thought the print was so fun. I love a good daisy. I love floral. And again, I just love the white, the blue, all of that good stuff. I think it's so cute. And then a button down front. And these are fully functional buttons. Uh, those buttonholes, I'm gonna tell you what, they they can be give me a run for my money. But the more I do it, the more confident I feel in, in working with the buttonhole uh, stitch setting on my brother's sewing machine. So this was the bottom portion. The pattern that I used to make that skirt was the new look 6346 pattern. It is rated easy and I would agree. The only difficult piece was making all of the buttonholes. That is something I have not yet mastered in total transparency here, but I think with time making more garments with buttons, um, it, it will become easier. And then I created the matching top. As you can see, same fabric. I love this top. I think with a some more altering because again, this top is also a little bit big. I am going to add some darts in the back to take it in. As you can see, it's just flat as a pancake right now. I went ahead and just did, for the most part, the bias tape around the insides of the sleeves. I love a good, clean look. I don't know if I would do this again, but again, practicing with this pattern, which is McCall's M7900. Love, love the top. 
in the shirts that you can create with this particular pattern. For the first top, again, it also has more buttons right down the front, fully functional too. I am proud to say that I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there. So fully buttoned up all the way down the front. And so that was the second upcycled set of curtains. You know, it's interesting to think where upcycled fabric comes from and the life that it had before it comes to you. I don't know, maybe that is the therapist in me analyzing this too much, but I think that fabric tells a little bit of a story sometimes. Last but not least, this one makes me laugh and I have a little bargain with myself that when I buy clothes, when I make clothes, if it makes me smile, it's a winner. It may not be something that everyone else likes, but guess what? That's the beauty of creative expression and dressing your body the way that you want to. I drafted this pattern myself and created a very structured, it's really almost a corset style top. This is upholstery fabric and it is heavy weight. Now this top, I did wash it so it needs to be ironed before I wear it again. But as you can see, I did create these panels on the front just to add some detail to this top. If not, it really didn't have much bend to it or flexibility. And so I knew I needed to mold the fabric into the shape that I wanted it to be. And thankfully, it almost reminds me of a linen-ish blend, but I really think it's meant for outdoor throw pillows. But either way, I was really happy, you know, with the way that it came out. Around the front, I used bias tape to just seal these two pieces together to make kind of the peplum look to it. So it has the spread out peplum bottom, kind of corseted top. And then the piece that makes me laugh the most are the fringe on the shoulders. I don't know if this is fringe that's meant to go around pillows or curtains or what, <laughs> but in my opinion, that again is the beauty of sewing. You get to use fabric in the way that you want it to be used and the trim, the, the notions, the things that go along with it. So the back of it is a zipper. Again, this top really doesn't have any gives. So if it ever stops fitting me, it is gonna just stop fitting me because there is not hardly any stretch at all to it. Really none whatsoever. But same on the back, just maintain that bias tape all the way around to create that really clean line. Even added bias tape the inside of it to create that nice clean finish and put lace details across the top. These are all of the upcycle pieces that I have for today. The pieces made with upholstery fabric, non-traditional apparel fabric, if you will. And I'm curious to know if you've ever created garments from upholstery fabric too, or upcycle curtains and what your experience was like with that. I am always open for tips and thoughts to hear how your sewing journey is and what you enjoy doing with the materials that you find. Thank you as always for watching and happy creating.